We'll guide you through how to remote desktop from your Windows PC to your Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. The easiest and simplest way of doing this I found is by using Google Chrome. So what you'll need to do is download it. It's a free web browser. So go and get it and open it up. Then what you need to do is search for Chrome remote desktop, just like so, and then go to the website at the top here. And now we can go and set it up. So I'm gonna go and click on the download Chrome remote desktop button. And first of all, you need to go and add extension. So scroll across and click on add to Chrome and then click on add extension and it will go and be added. Then go and click on that puzzle piece in the top right and you can click on Chrome remote desktop and it will then take us here. And then what we need to do is click on the download Chrome remote desktop button here and it will then go and download an application this time. Once it's finished, it should then go and change to accept and install and it will go and find it in your file explorer. You can then go and run it just like so. You'll need to go and agree to some administrator stuff there. And you can then choose a name for your computer. I'll name it guide around PC. And you can then enter in a pin. So make sure it's something you remember. You can then click on start just like so. And you'll go and get another security pop up on your computer. And this offline should shortly change to online. If it doesn't, you can just refresh the page and it now is. Now come on to your Mac. Now here we are on my Mac and I just tend to go and use Chrome as well. So go and open it up and then go and search for Chrome remote desktop, just like so, and go to the site. Then on this page, you can just click on access my computer. You don't have to configure it. And then in remote devices, you should go and see your computer here. Make sure you're using the same Google account as well. And then we can go and click on it like so. It'll go and say connecting. And then we need to go and enter in our pin, which I'll do now. I'll then click on the arrow and it should now go and connect. I'll just go and press allow and there it is. Now you may be thinking mine looks slightly weird and that's because I've got two monitors, but that doesn't matter as I can still use it the same. I could go and open up a new tab, let's say. Um, I can go and use my keyboard as well. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please consider subscribing and liking the video.